Hi there, in this video I'm going to be discussing two different situations and in particular these situations um, may seem exactly similar and, and while they may be appear to be identical they're not and let's just start off with it. First of all you have a ceiling right here you have your little pulley systems okay and this pulley system will have a rope which I'm going to put in blue this rope will go across and then down again and this rope over here will be a hundred pounds And over here will be a little bit more, 150 pounds. Okay, so that's one situation. Now the other situation, which I'm just going to call, maybe you could call it a sister situation, is once again you have your two pulleys. And the two pulleys have a similar configuration except on the left hand side you'll have a still a hundred pound box but rather than having that hundred and fifty pound box what we want to do is put a force of a hundred and fifty pounds So, in our first situation, we have a 150-pound box, and on this situation on the right, we have a 150-pound force. And I just want to kind of explore why they're significantly different. Okay. So starting off, um, what we should always remember is that F net equals MA. And so if we think about this rope, we think, uh, and I mean you could take any point along this line, but uh, we know that the net force the 100 pounds to the 150 we know that there's going to be a net force of 100 uh, of 50 pounds in this in in this direction going down this way causing this side to move up okay so we know that the net force is going to be 50 pounds And we know that the total mass is going to be the combined mass of both these boxes, 100 and 150, because they're both being called into motion with this 50 pound net force. So the resulting is 250 pounds, so that would be a 100 plus the 150 which is 250 divided by 32.2. Now this turns us into a slug, which is um, the English unit version of mass. But you can just acknowledge it as 250 pounds divided by acceleration. Mass, uh, force equals mass times acceleration. So. 250 divided by 32.2 and that will e uh, then you multiply that also by the acceleration A. And when you work this out we get that acceleration is equal to 6.44 feet per second squared. Okay. Okay. 
So with that result, how is this different than our sister situation over here on the right? In the sister situation, we still have an F net is equal to MA. Same situation. The F net is still equal to 50 pounds. However, the difference in this situation is that the total mass the total mass is only this this hundred pounds right here therefore it will be 100 only times acceleration and remember that's the pounds, you need to divide this by 32.2 to get it to the mass. Okay, so when we solve for this, I'll put it in hot pink, the acceleration is equal to 16.1 feet second squared. Notice how the acceleration is significantly different between the two just by modeling one side with 150 pounds um, pulling on the cord and this side is just a force being pulled. So the situations are not equal in terms of dynamics. Statically they are, but dynamically they're not. So anyway, uh, I, I just wanted to kind of depict the differences between the situations and uh, I'll see you in the next video.